All right, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and taken what I needed from the herbs, and this will go back into the fridge, and I will be using this within the next couple days. Now, what I'm going to be doing with this batch right here is for, this is for my next meal, and this is going to be made into something else. So it's, a, it's the same exact thing on either side. There's some basil on either side, there's some green onions on either side, there's some culantro, there's some cilantro, there's some Italian parsley, and there's some green leaf parsley on either side. Now I'm gonna be working with one side at a time. I'm gonna cut this in half and put it into the rinser. Okay, so here are the herbs. I, the one half of the herbs I chopped in half and I throw into this rinser, and here's the other half of the herbs that I have set aside here, and of course the ones I'm putting back in the fridge. So I'm going to fill this with water and get this starting to be rinsed out. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of vinegar into this water here, just to make sure that these herbs are clean. Mm, the smell of the vinegar in this water against all of these herbs. It's so floral, it smells so rich. If you like herbs and you really like, you know, uh, pestos and, you know, uh, herby chimichurris and things like that, you can really smell the herbs here with the vinegar as I rinse it out here. All right, so we got all that rinsed out, let's press away. All right, with the first batch of herbs I have right here, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up a little bit and throw it into my food processor here. All right, so I've got all the herbs chopped up. I've added to my Cuisine Art uh, food processor here. I'm gonna throw in one habanero pepper right here. Ooh, that's gonna really kick it up a notch. And of course, I've got a quarter cup of olive oil that's going into the food processor here. And I went ahead and pressed a li uh, one lemon, and here is the juice of the lemon in this thing right here. So let's go ahead and uh, get that in there. Ooh, that's really going to be full of flavor now. Just straight up vitamin C lemon juice going right into your green seasoning. And we're going to pop the top right on this thing, just like that. And let's take them for a ride. Let's go. At this point, you can stop it. You can throw in about a teaspoon of salt and about a teaspoon of black pepper or white pepper if you have it. I'm using white pepper here. Give that a pulse. All right, so my green seasoning is now done. And that's what it looks like. It's really, really delicious. It has a really nice kick from the habanero, the delicious olive oil, everything is in here. But now that the green seasoning is done, I'm gonna use it to rub it on my chicken here that I'm gonna be cooking in my Ninja Fruity. So stay tuned for that video. But as far as right now, I'm going to finish up this green seasoning with some of this olive oil and some of this maple syrup. Now this is going to completely give the sauce the final kick that it needs to sit on this chicken for at least 24 hours before I cook it. Now you don't have to marinate a chicken at all. I mean, I don't really think that marinating really does anything. But, because I'm not in a hurry to cook this chicken, I am going to give marination the benefit of the doubt and let it sit for 24 hours. So I'm going to pour some fresh olive oil into this sauce right here. Ooh, look at that. Really nice. And I'm going to pour some maple syrup in here to sweeten it up. It's going to give the chicken an amazing taste. And this will sit on my chicken for 24 hours. And so this sauce isn't just for seasoning, you know, meat or chicken. You can season tofu. In fact, you can eat, eat this sauce directly as is on top of some rice like this. It's absolutely delicious. Going to go ahead and drizzle some more olive oil on top of everything. And add a little fresh garlic right on the top of that. And look, a delicious, healthy meal right here. Very fulfilling, very tasty. But now I'm going to go ahead and put some of the seasoning onto this chicken here. Just like that. I already scored the top of it so that the, all the herbs and the olive oil and everything gets into the chicken. And really penetrates and marinates it. 
especially I guess if you're leaving it in the fridge overnight but the thing about marinating chicken is or any vegetable or potatoes or beef or you know anything you're marinating really um, if you're cooking it in the pressure cooker I think that you don't really have to marinate it because somehow the pressure just completely uh, infuses its its way into the meat at that point but um, you know if you're cooking it maybe pan frying it or so there may be some advantages obviously to putting it in the fridge for 24 hours so I'm not gonna use all of this sauce on here or a marinade if you will I'm not gonna use it all I'm gonna save some for later on but this is pretty much what I'm looking for I'm gonna add some garlic as well to this chicken so that way it has a nice herby garlicky flavor like just like that and of course you want to go ahead and season the chicken with some salt and pepper as well I like white pepper you can use black pepper as well but uh, I'm using white pepper here just like that and of course you know you can also add more seasoning so I mean I, I use uh, paprika on everything chili powder just like that and yeah we're gonna let this baby sit in the fridge for 24 hours so that's all for today guys uh, tomorrow I'll catch up with you guys show you guys how I cook this chicken and uh, hope you guys have a good night stay tuned for more cooking take care all right so what I've done is this is the rest of the herbs and here I have I've created two bunches I've created one bunch here that has let's say you know uh, like I took one bunch of cilantro and I split it into two I took one bunch of parsley I split it into two I pulled the leaf from the basil here I put it here I mean no, that's 